<laughs> my ache and liver. Yes. Where is it anyway? I don't know. You haven't seen it for years, and it's gotten hard on you. <laughs> <laughs> I had it here when I started. I your know that. liver is bound to be cirrhotic by now. Well, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we know how you imbibe. It's seen all over town. It's been bandied around. <laughs> First show of the season, and he's already <laughs> listen to this. Just for that, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to surprise you. I have you know I'm always bringing exciting new things to the program. Yeah. Well, this one tops the bill. <laughs> Wait till you see this. <laughs> now, the interesting thing is, it only works when you yell at it. Now, wait a minute. Be real quiet. Hey. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> oh, that is true. Oh, wonderful. that is. That's wonderful. I thought it just brings a little class to the show. Yes, I thought it was a turban of some <laughs> kind when I first started out, but uh, it's not. Miss <laughs> Dorothea Maria, oh, uh, our good pal, uh, gave me that for my birthday recently. You know, I have Bless two or three of them a year, birthdays, that is. Yes. And uh, so anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that. Well, welcome, everybody. I'm Laban Johnson. <laughs> I'm Larry Bly. And this is the beginning of the eighth year of Cooking Cheap. Can you believe oh, it? Oh, my heavens. Eight long, tortuous, <laughs> miserable years here on Blue Ridge Public Television. And we're, we're, we have many lumps to show for it, but uh, we're glad for each and every, every day and every way. And well, we're still getting letters despite all <laughs> of that. Amazing. We you. are. You want me to read one? Yeah. You have the most hilarious cooking TV show. Your recipes, something interesting. Your methods, I would question. Well, a lot of people question that. I look forward to Wednesday for a good, funny show. See you on 34 PBS, South Bend, Indiana. I am a cook for 60 years. Wonderful. Well, darling, you've probably done forgot more than we know. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Isn't that very and, colorful? That's wonderful. And look, we got a, a very fancy uh, memo here <laughs> from Fred Kaiser a in jet West set Logan, <laughs> West Virginia. What is a jet set, set reply? Who knows? It's kind of form. It's got carbon and all kinds of papers on here and everything. And he wanted us to send him a recipe. In triplicate? Yes. Yeah. So now, get ready. Get your pencil and paper out and write the recipe down because we're not going to be able to send all those thousands of recipes out because, frankly, we are worn completely out from sending recipes out. We really are. So we'll give you a little more time to write it down, but do get your pencil and paper and get ready. All right. Mm -hmm. Speaking okay. of getting ready, well, we're going to get it. some stuff going here. We've got here. some lengthy get recipes rid of this stuff to here. do. Here's me. You want to start first or you want me to start well, first? Well, let me just uh, say quickly what I'm going to do because I've got a lot of processing to do and then All you right. can take over from there. I'm doing chicken liver soup. <laughs> I just couldn't resist it. And it was sent in to us by Brenda Salyers of Pound, Virginia. Chicken liver soup. And I've got to uh, fry some chicken livers that are going to be quartered and in with some uh, onions and green peppers. Those of you that don't know, this is a green pepper, a bell pepper. Those of you that are real picky about food, do not use a jalapeno. Use a large green pepper. This is an onion. All of you know how to handle them, I hope, except our, the editor of our cookbook in Texas that doesn't know from beans <laughs> about doing don't. anything. Deadly. But anyway, uh, I'm going to... Um, and I hope he's watching this show. I'm going to <laughs> chop these up and fry them in some oil. Now, you know basically how to do that. This here is oil, as we say here oil. in the South. <laughs> so uh, that's all I'm going to do. And oh, no. What? Oh, no. Not More not misery. Those. I know. Please don't poison anybody because it's making the rest of us suffer terrible at the <laughs> store. We got <laughs> things that things don't. Who have bit the big one. <laughs> right. That don't favor anybody, as Grandma used to say. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to pour some oil in a frying pan so I can fry this mess up. Now, there's only one thing worse than that. What? You know, the oil companies have taken to doing the same thing. I know. Now, have you ever tried to open one of those on a cold winter's day outdoors with no instruments of any kind except your bare fingers, and you can't get them off? Now, when who's going to drink when, that stuff? Right. Who's going to drink Exxon motor oil? Exxon motor oil. Give me a Give break. Give us a break. Yeah, However, I'm going to be cooking with some <laughs> right. today. No, I'm not. So what are you doing? Well, I'm just going to chop up this onion and pepper with this fine, dull knife. Couldn't we just go into a rerun? I've seen you do so many of those guys. Well, you know, some some uh. chump, and I won't give his name on the air right now, but I, I'm going to have it here in a couple of weeks. Sent us 
a pictorial set of directions on how to chop an onion. Oh, give me a break. I swear, with a little picture I ain't going to pay no diver. attention to it anyway. So, should I start? Yeah, go ahead. Should I start? I guess I will. I'm going to make scones, and I had never even seen a scone. <laughs> <laughs> and you still and Wait till you see the ones that I made from yesterday. <laughs> They're a hoot, I tell you. I'm going to make scones with cream. Well, what, what are scones? And I'm going to tell you, this is a mess. Well, it, it's a sort of a biscuit. It's a sort of a biscuit, except everybody expects that uh, 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 some kind of dessert biscuits will be very sweet because here in America, you know, we, we fix everything real sweet. We have mm -hmm. a real fine sweet tooth. This is not as sweet as it looks like it should be or could be, and indeed it isn't. But it's still very good. And I'm going to make such a mess over here today. <laughs> you always give me the ones where I have to get out and knead things. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, start out by burying my arms. A lot of people think you need a lot, Larry. Now, please keep in mind that I did wash my hands before this program began. I and do your want hands you to never leave your wrists. My heads have never left my body at any time today. So I'm going to do that. And I've also washed the surface thoroughly. <laughs> I have. Doris could tell you. She saw me. Yes. I washed the thing thoroughly. So we got to we we talk about Miss Doris. Oh, Miss Doris. All right, go ahead. Talk Ms. about Miss Doris is one of our good friends who has agreed to come in and help us now that we have become very huge television stars and she's going to come in and help us get ready for these shows. We've never had any help before but we noticed that the high price spreads on TV yeah. have all uh, gotten these big staffs of people but we really don't need a lot of help but Doris We just is need wonderful. Doris. We and, just need a real Doris bad. we have. Now we're going to start out with two cups of self-rising flour. I wanted to ask you something, Johnson. Uh -huh. You've been, uh, you've been, uh, is this two cups? Yeah, this is two cupper. Uh, ah! Good heavens, the first scalding of the year, <laughs> first scalding of the season. When you have a recipe that you type up and it doesn't call specifically, doesn't say whether it's self rising or all purpose flour, I assume that means that it's not self rising. That's correct. Okay. Boy, that scared me to death. Two cups self-rising, in this case, flour. Two tablespoons of sugar. I believe this is one of the first times i ever done this show, or I have ever done this program, that I had everything I was supposed to have. One, two. Well, that's an interesting discovery. I only put one of them in last night. No wonder it wasn't very sweet. One teaspoon of grated orange rind. <laughs> oh! Good heavens, I almost threw my rinder. What do they call this thing? You got me this one day. That's a zester. A zester. Have you ever seen one of these boys and girls? A zester, a little thing with a, a mean hook on the end of it. I there know it is. somebody named see it? Zester. Zester, yeah. She used to sing with a, uh, an old... Zester. Uh -huh. She used to sing with some over in England. She and Flossie used to sing together, <laughs> I believe. Anyway, these things are really nice. Johnson's the one who got me this, and I have to give him a lot of credit. Not much, but a little bit. <laughs> Because it makes doing this so easy. Look at that. Look at it just flying off there. Need to take just a little bit of that and try and work around the word sun kissed if you can. There's nothing grosser than having just the thought of putting those words the green in there. Green dye number four. Yeah, that's right. There's the sun kiss <laughs> label. Try and work around that. And that big A. What does that big A mean? Means all right. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. <laughs> well, that's what it stands for. means that the orange has been inspected and it's all right. Now, just approximate. That's the greatest plenty. Put that Either rind that right or in there. the orange grower was an adulterer. Oh, for heaven's sake. A quarter teaspoon of soda. Quarter teaspoon of soda. I'm working with brand new things. I don't know. I'll just guess. Soda. This requires so much stuff. And you cut this with a quarter of a cup of margarine, or thereabouts. <laughs> I find that it was more thereabouts than anything last night. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just take it. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take a fork, and I'm just going to work that in there. Now you're supposed to. It says sift all that stuff in, and I just don't have time for well, it. Well, you also don't have a sifter. I don't have a sifter. That's a very good point. No wonder I haven't been sifting it in. So anyway, now what you're going to do is you're going to make this look like breadcrumbs, it says. <laughs> I thought that was very curious, but that's what it says. Now we'll go back to Mr. Johnson while I play with this for the next five minutes. Oh, caught me using my knife to pick up vegetables, but this knife couldn't be any worse, so... 
By the way, I have my oven at 400 in case anybody's interested. Well, oh, did we take that other toast out? <laughs> <laughs> he has forgotten his second batch of toast. Batch. I hate this even style. I'll have to do that in a minute. No, take it, it out. It we want to no, see the toast that uh, you put in about uh, 20 minutes before we started on the air here this afternoon. Is it done yet, Layman? <laughs> Our first kitchen disaster of the season. Show number one. And that ain't uh, <laughs> charcoal briquettes, ladies and gentlemen. We have created charcoal briquettes swear. right here. Somebody's going to have to remind me. To ta I'm going to do some Don't more. forget to toast, we, we can't afford a toaster. <laughs> now, somebody's got to remind me in a few minutes to get this out because we need this toast at the end real Could you bad. do that for us, Doris? Doris is standing by in the background. Just count. 1,001, 1,002. <laughs> How much do you think? How much time you reckon? I don't know. Take? About five minutes. About five minutes right now, Doris. This is really nice. We got people to time things for us now. It's just wonderful. Now, if we just find someone here that could cook, <laughs> we'd be all right. All right. Now, if you look at this stuff, you can see it's kind of getting crumbly. See, crumbly. That's what you got to do. Just work it around with a fork. That is the margarine in there, and all the other stuff. And just mix it around real good. Wow. Well, yes. While wow, you're, are you finished with that? No. Go all right, right on here. Right. Now this. How terrible a cough has come upon my boat. <laughs> this is a bowl of flour, and we're going to convert it into seasoned flour. Now, for those of you that are literalist, uh, <laughs> this goes with some salt and some pepper. I would say that's about a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon to whatever you like of pepper in about a cup of flour. Ah and you stir that around a little bit and that's what we're going to put our chicken livers in to flour them because they have got to be cooked in here with these green peppers and the onions that are frying up real fine okay you know i'm looking around we've got all these new people in here running cameras and things Miss, so many people have been promoted or otherwise that uh, have you noticed that? No, I, I, yeah. I don't think I, I just thought they all got mad. Bunch is over here now. I and, thought they all left. This camera. All right, now I got to take um, one egg and beat it slightly. Ooh! All right, I'm gonna all beat right. that up. I'm gonna put that down in there too. And again, you're gonna have to start messing around with that and working that into it a little bit. This does take a little bit prep time, but it's it's interesting. It's worth the effort. Well, I'm I've got these livers of the chicken here and uh, they're getting cut in half and then in quarters each lobe of the liver is being cut in half so that means that each what lobe lobe see your liver comes in two lobes oh lord here we go mr. no and you cut it in the middle and then you cut the lobe in half and that means you quarter your livers Quarter your livers, quarter, quarter your, your fun. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Now we've got the eggs slightly beaten and about a half a cup of buttermilk. Secret ingredient. There's Laban's livers. Oh. Half a cup of buttermilk. You drink this stuff? Yeah. Oof. This well, it, it's idea. good to restore the bacterial balance in your intestines. <laughs> <laughs> the bacterial floor. This show is grossing me out. <laughs> uh, about a half a cup of buttermilk, but I would, I would suggest you ought to do this. Put just a little bit in at a time because you don't want to get your consistency too <laughs> messed up here. Yeah, you don't want to mess up your consistency. Well, you know, it's supposed to look like, <laughs> it's supposed to look like bread when you get finished. So you don't want it to get too gooey or, you know, then you'll have to keep adding flour and then everything gets kind of discombobulated. Because what I'm going to do, theoretically, when you get finished with this, smells real good with that rind in there, is we're going to take it out and play with this stuff after a while right here in the show. It's real exciting. See, it's getting doughy. And we're going to roll it around and, and work it out a little bit. We're going to knead it. See, now that's a nice dough. You don't want it to get too wet. That's the kind of recipe you want to do when you're mad so you can take your frustrations out on I'm going to put just there. a little tiny bit more of that buttermilk in there so that it gets just a little bit gooier than that. It's a little bit dry. Mm -hmm. 
total. Is that all the time we got left? I don't have time to do this. <laughs> I'm quitting. I'm going home. Well, I better get on it here. Me too. Good Lord. I thought he meant it was till something else happened. <laughs> Until we got on, on the set or something. Funny how know. time just flies when Time's you fun when you have them flies. <laughs> okay. You're going to need this a little. I'd suggest you don't need it too long. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't it oh! pretty? See, Johnson gives me Holy this. cow! What are you doing? Johnson I, gives me all this dough stuff to do because he sees, see, he knows I know how to work dough. Isn't that nice? Isn't that pretty? Look at that, Listen Johnson. to this over here. Hammerstrom's going crazy. Oh, wrong side, wrong side. And we moved the can down oh, the drain. Oh, no. Did they really? Yeah. Got real Now, scared. here's what I suggest you do. Some of the bread is almost ready. Oh, it is. <laughs> Things are getting frenetic here. Getting frenetic. Roll it out a little bit. Roll what out? The uh, barrel. Oh. And we're going to divide it up into about 12 pieces. You can do anything with it you want to. Roll it into circles or put it in blobs. Or you can even cut it out like a biscuit if you want to. And what you do is you put it on a greased cake or a rather cookie thing. Lunk. You don't even have to do a lot with it. You can do it a lot of different ways. What I was doing yesterday is rolling it like so and putting it on. You may want to do that. That's not a bad way to go. Makes it a little tough to handle later on. You've got to bake these things at 400 degrees for 15 or 20 minutes. I have a hot oven. I baked everything literally yesterday in the submission at my house, as you will discover shortly. So anyway, that's real pretty, that's real nice. Now, put them all on there. Take your time, don't hurry. <laughs> I swear to where the time got to. Now, that's it. You put them in the oven, 400 degrees, 15, 20 minutes. Watch them very carefully. You take them out hot, and, and then I'll show you what you gotta put into them when they come out. I'll make that in a second. Back to Laban. Oh, I'm trying to move your shelf for you. Back to Laban. And I'm having a hard time. Laban, ah! to you. But anyway, what's wrong? I was trying to move your shelf and it burned me bad. What now, are you doing diddling around with my shelf? Well, your shelf was all the way up in the broil <laughs> position. I'll swear. There Here, you go. Here, let me just put that right in there. All right, now, I'm frying these livers for Hule Derail. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Hang on a second. I have to clean this stuff off a little so I can do my next portion. And let me know what I can when do When these next livers... Portion get brown and remember liver cooks real fast so you don't need to cook these things for the rest of your life but when they get brown in a minute you're going to add a can of mushroom soup and uh, a can of milk with it and cook it up real good so there we are that's frying away and those livers look real good you know, maybe we ought to go over the recipes. Do you think maybe we should do that? <laughs> I guess we should. I don't For have the chicken liver soup, you need a package of chicken livers. With, that's a pint of them. Some seasoned flour, some chopped onions and peppers. And you can put in as much or as little as you like. I like a lot of it. Of course, you need oil to fry everything in. Some cream of mushroom or chicken soup. And milk or water if it's a condensed soup and you do what I've done, cut the livers into quarters, fry them with your chopped onions and green peppers, and uh, that's how you do it. Real easy. Is that how you do it, Laban? That's how you do well, it. Well, that's amazing. Didn't make a bit of sense to me. Oh, scones with cream. Two cups self-rising flour, a tablespoon of sugar, two of them actually. One teaspoon grated orange rind, put that right in there, knead it all around with the soda, cut all that stuff in. Quarter cup of margarine or as much as you need to get it real flaky, okay? You need to experiment around a little bit. Egg slightly beaten and mix that all up into a doughy consistency along with the uh, buttermilk. Oh, the, yeah, the half a cup of buttermilk. I believe my eyes have gone on me. Put it in the oven, 400 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. And then uh, the next part, which I'm going to show you in a second, requires eight ounces of cream cheese, third cup of sour cream, and a tablespoon of sugar. And that's the goop that goes in it, and I'm going to make it right now, and I'm going to make it real quick. 
Start out with eight ounces of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese softened so you can work with it so it's malleable. And uh, how much of this? Third cup of sour cream. Measure carefully. And I keep losing things. A tablespoon of sugar. And then all you do is mix it up. And as soon as the stuff comes out of the oven hot, you can put that stuff on there and then top it all off if you want to with your favorite preserves, which I've also brought along today. Don't have to go long on that. See, isn't that pretty? And we're ready to roll. I have some fake ones, actually some real ones, that I brought with me. Thank heavens for that. <laughs> oh, good. How's yours? Well, mine's, I've added the soup and, the can, and I used a can of milk and I think maybe that I'm going to add a little more pepper to it. Now so that, that is I'm, pretty. That really is. So that I'm certain that it's going to be uh, full of gorgeous. Se seasoned enough here. And you have to cook this until uh, it thickens somewhat, which it is doing very well it right now. It is beautiful. It really is. Is it soup or gravy? Well, it's, a, it's soup. That's oh. what uh, Di uh, Brenda Sayers calls it, mm -hmm. but uh, it really is sort of a creamed uh, chicken livers. Ooh, it really looks good. Mm -hmm. And that's just about ready here. And I just wonder how it would taste. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to find I out. Just we're Let me get the out. toast and we'll go. All righty. Well, it's just amazing. Through the miracle of electronics, we have pulled Ooh. it off I'm yet sorry. again. Unfortunately, we can't get it off the stove. <laughs> Now let's see here. Oh, give it a try here. Well, I want you to see these attractive scones. They're very lovely. They quite really are. They're just oh, real lovely. They Aren't are. they pretty? Lovely. Full of loveliness. See, they're all. Now these, you could pop these in a the microwave, although you don't want to melt them down or too Or into fat. your mouth. Or pop them right into your mouth. Okay. And here are some cherry preserves. Oh, oh how nice. And here, there's some toast <laughs> to go in your bowl because... <laughs> Put that down Ms. in Sally, there. You're saying, wait a minute. Oh, let me okay. Serve this up for it. That you serve this over toast. Oh, well, how delicate. <laughs> That's the greatest party. Greatest party. <laughs> if you can get the toast to lay still. At this, this toast is moving around, so are the levers. That's what worries me. Oh, I well, want some excuse of these me, but I think I need to <laughs> use a knife. I'm afraid I'm just oh, going to burn these. my lips off. These preserves look wonderful there. Oh, thank you. I put them up myself yesterday. Uh-huh. Well, let's give this... Mmm. Very good. The scones are wonderful. Nice. Oh, and when did you start working at that orchard? <laughs> he has not caught on my trick. Mm. I like this. I will have to admit, this is a marvelous little meal. Well... Well, we hope you caught the recipe because <laughs> that's going to be it. Oh, boy, this is good. You'll like this. And it was so much fun burning all that toast, too. It was. <laughs> boy, our cup has runneth over mm. again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're glad to see everybody again. Come on back and be with us again next week. All righty. Bye.